Have you ever wondered how you can completely clone a YouTube channel with just the click of a button? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can legally steal the voice, tone, and writing style of a YouTube channel that you love and write just like them. My name is Brian Ung, and I've helped grow YouTube channels to millions of views and millions of dollars in revenue generated. So if you want to clone a YouTube channel, there are a couple ways that you can do it. Number one, you could train a chat GBT project on all of your favorite gurus YouTube videos so that it understands all of its specific information. For example, over here, there's the Alex Hermosi GPT where you can get business coaching, right? You can probably write YouTube scripts, you can write funnels with all of this GPT. But the problem with this Alex Hermosi GPT is that it's not only trained on the specific YouTube information that you feed it, but it's also trained on all of the random information on the internet. So it might give you wrong information there. Or number two, you could use something like Notebook LM that you can train specifically on only information that you want to give it. So for example, this guy Ryan Doz on YouTube cloned the YouTube channel with Notebook LM. You can see he uploaded all of the specific YouTube videos. That means you have to copy paste link by link by link by link by link by link by link. And you have to upload over 100 YouTube videos just manually so that you can train a bot on it. And then you can go back and forth with the prompts. You can write your own custom prompts if you want. But there's just a lot of back and forth with that. So what I've done is created subscriber.ai, which is the world's best YouTube script writing tool that can literally steal channels with just a click of two buttons. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. So over here from the subscriber AI homepage, when you click login, you'll be immediately brought to this dashboard. And from this dashboard, what you want to do is you can add a channel. So you can click channels here, click add channel. And let's say you want to write a script like Alex Ramosi. So you can literally just connect the YouTube channel, insert here Alex Ramosi, and the tool will, you can see over here in just one second will create for you an audience avatar. It's super duper important that the AI tool or that whenever you write the script, you understand who you're talking to. So it gives you an audience profile immediately. It gives you its specific demographics, the psychographics, the online behavior, the offline behavior, and specific key questions that is generated literally with the click of a button in less than half a second. You don't even have to upload any of the specific transcripts because what subscriber AI does is that it takes the transcript and the titles and the thumbnails from all of the specific videos and it is immediately trained on the information so that it can spit out a specific audience avatar based on that. And what's even more impressive here is that when you go directly to the voice section, right, you can see here that you can edit the voice and immediately subscriber AI ports in the voice of Alex Homozi so that it really understands the speaker archetype, the tone and the voice literally with just a click of a button. So you can see over here, the label is that it's the brutal truth entrepreneur, your right? description, a highly successful results oriented mentor who delivers challenging, no nonsense business advice with absolute confidence and high energy focuses on actionable strategy over motivational fluff, young, aggressive, high achiever. So you can see over here, literally one button and you get the exact voice, the exact persona of him. And and subscriber AI will then be able to write scripts for Alex Hermosi. But let's say you don't just want to write like Alex Hermosi, you want to maybe make some tweaks. Alex Hermosi isn't exactly you, but you have some sort of variation of Alex Hermosi that you want to write and create a channel around. So what you can do here is you can click channels, click add channel, and then there we have this function called remix channel, which allows you to copy remix a successful channel, take what works from an existing channel and add your unique perspective. So let's say I want to create a channel around Alex Homozy, but I want it to be the female business archetype and I want to pander to female entrepreneurs. So what I can do is I can take Alex Hormozy. My channel name is Alex Hormozy female, right? How would you make it different instead of uh, pandering female entrepreneurs? And then you can even add even more detail, even more detail, and then it will tailor the voice and the audience for this specific audience that you're trying to create here. So you just click create remix and instantly it will start creating your audience avatar. So let's see what it gives us here. And there you go for the channel, Alex Hermosi female. You can see over here, this persona represents driven women entrepreneurs who are eager to grow their businesses as women in business. And over here, you can see the demographics, the psychographics are all completely altered online behavior, offline behavior, and the key questions. So if you see a channel that you like, you can just remix it with just a couple words and you will get a completely new audience avatar. And if you go here, you can see that the voice is also edited to pander to more of a female audience. So if you click here in advanced mode, 
You can see here it label the demanding mentor, right? A highly successful results driven expert who delivers brutal business truths with zero with high energy and zero tolerance for excuses tailored to empower ambitious women to achieve financial independence through focus strategy, right? And maybe for whatever reason, if this isn't super duper accurate, you can go in here and you can manually edit or if you want, you can give it custom instructions in order to edit all of these. And you can see here, it understands the stance and relationship, speaking style, delivery recipe, rhetorical toolkit, spoken patterns, diction and syntax, example paragraph, and then it gives you a bunch of samples so you can see whether this is accurate or not. But how does Subscriber AI fare in terms of ideating new video ideas that you just cloned and writing full YouTube scripts? I'm gonna show you the exact process right now. So we can go over here and click a new chat and we want to add the channel that we wanna write for. So let's say it's Alex Hermosi. And literally there are a bunch of options here, plan the next video, create a script, find video ideas, analyze competitors, remix a video. So let's say I wanna find new video ideas. I'm just gonna click this button and click enter and we'll see what video ideas it gives me. So you can see here for the ideation prompt, it says find breakout channels similar to mine that show signs of rapid growth with strong audience engagement and what performs best on my channel. And you can see here, it immediately scrapes the breakout channels, which is on your leadership behind the diary. And you can see here, outlier deep dive right behind the diary, you're procrastinating topical angle. So let's say out of these five different video ideas, all of them are pretty different. I want to do this deep work idea. So let's say I want to take this deep work idea and I can just click here and immediately it'll help you explore the idea with regards to your channel. And what it does is starts forming angles as to how you could possibly tackle this specific video idea. So yeah, you can see over here, it says, okay, this is a strong idea because it's contrarian, right? And it starts exploring the idea. It gives you the hook, gives you the grand slam offer, and then it gives you a proposed structure for the script. And then it also gives you 10 different title variations, right? Of which you can pick the best one, right? So I'm doing deep work in the 90 day system. They replace it, right? Deep work is a lie, the three daily tasks that will win your entire week. Something like this is something like Hermosi would, would probably write. While your focus box keep failing, right? Do this instead of deep work in 90 day system. No, not really. Let's say I like this and you can see over here, it immediately writes a new structure, right? Hook, the failure of busy work, the acquisition task, the optimization task, and the data task, which sounds exactly like what Alex Hermosi would talk about. So let's just go here. Let's write this script. I would just prompt it. And then what will happen is that a canvas will pop up which will help us outline the script and then it'll help us completely write the script. So let's see what it comes up with. And bang, you can see over here, it immediately pulls out a canvas like you're with an assistant YouTube script writer and it gives you a base template, right? You can choose the different script templates that you want to use. Let's say we're writing an educational script, we're writing it in English. So, and then we can also determine the script length, right? So let's say Alex Homozi, the video length is at least 25 minutes. So I'm going to put it as 4,000 words and then I can pick the different AI model that I want to write with. So let's say I want to write with Claude for sonnet which is my personal favorite for writing educational scripts right you can pick uh, the template that you want educational template and then here they also give you a bunch of questions that you can answer which will help you write the script so do you want to frame the three daily task as lessons right and yes right and then it's two three four five and you can just answer as many of these questions as you want to give the ai even more context of course the more context that you give it the better that it will be able to write and plus you can also add your own research over here right so let's say there's an article that you like or there's certain youtube videos that you like and you can add it so that it can understand and be able to write these scripts so let's say you know like this video is isn't so relevant so you just add the videos that are relevant delete the videos that are relevant but or if you want you can even do ai research right where it will start generating suggestions and it will start scraping llms so let's say uh productivity systems right right so let's just we can ask it to add it and then it'll start doing some research and then it'll scrape whatever relevant articles there are to actually be able to produce this script and then there you go once it's added whatever context it has you can go see what the actual content is and then you can edit it according to what is right and what is not right but let's say you have all of the research that you need inside here right you can spend however much time you want on this you can just click one button and it will immediately start generating the outline so whenever you're writing anything you want to generate the outline first before you write the full script and it literally follows, follows this exact step. So you can see here, it writes the hook, right? The 90 day reality check. Most people spend a year spinning their wheels on busy work while I got more than more done in 90 days than they'll do in 12 months. Really true for it. So this is an outline. So you can see here, you can see it as it starts generating this outline. And literally, if there's anything that you don't like, you can just 
edit it, you can just modify it, and then it'll be able to fully write the script based on that. But let's say you've read it, right? You can just edit it directly here. Um, let's say you don't like the hook, right? And you can say, hey, make the hook better. You can just prompt it like that, and then it'll edit the hook completely like that. You can see just like that, it writes an entire outline. And if you're happy with the outline, you press one button, you click here, generate script, and then it will start generating the entire script for you with just a button. You don't even have to write any specific custom prompts or anything like that. And man, just like that, you can see over here, it's generating, generating the full script over here and you can read it as it's being generated and it's still going, it's still going, it's still going. So one of the impressive things about Subscriber is that it's trained on all of Alex Mosey's information and its current videos, literally with the click of a button just by uploading the channel. So that's why it understands all of this. It's not that I uploaded it to the research of course, when you upload specific research for a specific video, it will understand it a lot better. Over here, you can just see 4,200 words generated just from pressing a couple buttons, which I think is pretty ridiculous, right? You can, you know, read this script and, and you can kind of let me know what you think about this. But I think this is like pretty impressive considering that you can just do this with the press of a couple buttons. And then if for whatever reason, if you think, hey, like I don't like this section one, right? Or I don't like the sentence. What you can do is you can highlight this and you can, we have this AI improve where you can, it's basically like Google Docs and you can edit it, the script within subscriber, but you can also prompt it, whatever to change, whatever specific section that you want to change. Let's say uh, I want to make this lead for this point more punchy. And then what it will do, it will only edit that specific passage that you highlighted. So if for whatever reason, there's a big chunk that you want to highlight, then you can do that. And the reason this is much better than doing it on GPT or doing it on Claude is that when you ask it to edit a certain section, it will just regenerate the entire script. And sometimes it screws up and it changes other sections of it, which is definitely not what you want. And just like that, you can clone a YouTube channel that you love, that you want to write as for yourself and you can remix it and you can customize it and go from no idea to prompting it a little bit with whatever custom prompts that are already within the tool to generating an outline, uploading some research, and then having a full script from there that you can edit, that you can immediately just go ahead and record, which I think is pretty sick. If you wanna try out Subscriber, you can click the link in the description and you have a seven day free trial. And now that you know how Subscriber works, I put together a full tutorial on how to use Subscriber from A to Z to maximize your YouTube growth. Click over here to watch it and I'll see you in the next one.